What's going on guys? It's your boy the Mark of Night here. Today's video is going to be all about the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. I am very excited for this trailer. They said a lot of big surprises. I'm not going to give any predictions yet. I kind of want to see what happens here and then go from there. So let's get started. Oh my. <laughs> this looks like a Sinister Six movie. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life is so normal. That was when you found out. Yeah. Mark said his spell when he wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. <laughs> So he fucked up the spell, opened up the multiverse. Green Goblin. From every Ooh. universe. Whoa. Whoa. Dr. Octopus. Was that? Hello, Peter. Toby Maguire Spider-Man? You're not Peter Parker. Mm. There you go. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? Why is that funny? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So oh, okay. No, that's, crap. that's Tom Holland. Oh, this is kind of your mess. I know a couple magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please. Jokes aren't great. It's crap. So that's Tom Holland Spider-Man in a different magic suit? Flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? The yellow is Electro. The lightning. Green Goblin. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. We got a showdown. Should be easy. Oh, that was cool. I saw the star on his head. Inception. Oh, there you go. That's a good look. Oh. Oh, there's Lizard and Sandman too. That's cool. <laughs> the Lizard <laughs> jumps so low. Give it to us. You know we want it. Is that it? There's more, come on. What's happening? They're starting to come through. Oh, who's coming through? Them. Who's coming through? December 17th. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, let me go through it again, and I'm gonna talk over it this time a lot more. Let, let's get into it. So you get to see this is like a multiversal Sinister Six type thing going on here. Who was the other Green Goblin? Or was that Willem Dafoe with a different suit? So he got outed as Spider-Man by DJ Jonah Jameson from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. And now we kind of get to see him on the run, basically. Yeah, Doctor Strange says he fucked up the spell when he didn't want people to know he was Peter because he didn't want everybody to forget about him. So that opened up the multiverse. And we get Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Universe. We get, that's Electro. That's a magic suit. I initially thought it was Tobey Maguire in his black, like, symbiote suit. That's obviously Doc Ock. You're not Peter Parker. So he took off his mask, figured out it's Tom Holland and not that same one. He looks like he's working with them now. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? I don't get why that's funny. There are others out there. We need to send them back. Yeah, that's a magic suit. You can see he's doing the same Doctor Strange magic stuff. So Spider-Man gets to work magic. That's pretty cool. That was kind of cringy. The jokes don't really hit. Sandman and Electro working together. You get CJ Jonah again. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. 
So they got plucked out right before they died fighting Spider-Man. Yeah, me too. Go. And then they get into a beat. Now, Doctor Strange should handle Spider-Man really easily, so I don't know kind of what they're going to do with that. Unless he's holding back, obviously. That Electro thing was cool. It looks kind of shoddy, but it's still pretty cool. Inception. That's kind of a Doctor Strange thing to do. Willem Dafoe. That. That looks like it could be James Franco's Harry Osborn. Might have to stop that later. Is he looking? Where's Lizard going? Unless there are more Spider-Man. Which is part of my prediction. And of course, Spider-Man has to save a falling Mary Jane Watson. Like every movie ever. Okay. So I think there was one little bit at the end. Yeah. So this is where I think the other Spider-Man would probably come in. I'm going to give you my predictions right after this. Okay, I'm going to stop that here. Okay. That was pretty cool. I mean, I'm a little disappointed. They said there would be big surprises. I was expecting Tobey Maguire. I was expecting Andrew Garfield. I kind of expected this to be a huge trailer, kind of letting everybody know they're going to be in this movie. They did everything but tell us they will be in this movie because they've hinted at everything. We got to see, obviously, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. We got to see uh, Dr. Octavius, Doc Ock, who's going to be in a Dr. Octopus. Uh, we also got to see Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2. We got to see Sandman. So we get to see all these guys and I'm guessing maybe the Sinister Six. The sixth one might be Venom. I'm not 100% sure. We also got to see Lizard from Amazing Spider-Man 1. So will the sixth be Venom? Is that supposed to be a Sinister Six? But then again, Doc Ock is working with Peter and he looks like he's kind of a good guy like he was at the end of Spider-Man 2. I am going to rewatch these movies and stuff, but the only thing that kind of stood out to me in this entire trailer, the only thing that was kind of different, was that there were two different types of Green Goblins. One that looked like he didn't have a helmet on, which could have been Harry Osborn from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, James Franco, or it could have been the Green Goblin from The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I don't really know if it's either of those or if it's just Willem Dafoe in a different costume or what's going on there. But there's something kind of going on at that point that kind of just threw me a little bit. Otherwise, this is exactly what I expected. Multiversal Sinister Six looks like it's on the way. Where does Venom fit in? Uh, where does potentially Toby and these guys fit in if they are in it? I do feel like this will probably be uh, Spider-Man's exit from the multi from the uh, MCU and going back to Sony so that he could be in the same universe as Venom and Morbius and all that stuff and they can do their own little Spider-Verse thing but it'll be interesting to kind of see how this will work and where they'll go with it because Spider-Man or not Spider-Man but Tom Holland does have one more movie under contract so it's gonna be interesting to see if he pops up for one more movie if he does it'll probably be in the Doctor Strange movie and that'll probably exit him completely out because Doctor Strange does come up after this movie so it'll be interesting to see kind of where they go with his storyline there anyways guys you watch this trailer i might have been a little disappointed because i was expecting a few things but tell me what you think this is the mark of night and i need you to like comment and subscribe